so I'm sure you can't see me. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm laying in bed. I only had a couple hours of sleep. And my side hurts. Like my lower back, the right hand side in the back. Like in the middle. Middle. It's uncomfortable and it has been for a few hours. Um, I don't drink a lot of water anymore because I take those black drops and they're hydrating drops. And, but I don't know that if that's what it is. It's like dehydrated. I don't know. I have no idea what this pain is. It's a solid pain. It's not going away. You know what I mean? It doesn't come and go. It's kind of just there. Sometimes the world seems like a hostile, lonely place. And my twin flame, Steven, seems like a hostile, mean person. And that's how it's always been. I always lose people. I'm not saying I lose. I mean, I guess he'll come back. And I mean, I guess he'll come back the person that he sometimes is. And he blames me. He likes to. That's what he does. He changed on me. We were supposed to. I think it started on our phone call Friday because because I was on the phone with him Friday afternoon and I went to the state police barracks to get a tag light inspected for a repair order and the cop there was a fucking mean maniac he was horrible beyond horrible he was crazed really and I was on the phone with Steven and Steven was dumb he told me just be quiet don't say anything don't say he just to me he was terrible he didn't say go on your Facebook live or start recording it he wasn't supportive he was coming against me told me to just be quiet Like, I get tired of him telling me what to do instead of just supporting me. He's not a very supportive person at all. And he always tells me how everybody loves him. What is that supposed to tell me? Everybody loves me. Everybody loves It's like, shut the fuck up. I'm glad everybody fucking loves you. I don't have nobody that loves me. So, I don't feel good. My head keeps hurting. Maybe it is these black drops. I don't know. I take these hydrating drops. Ugh, I just know that my right lower back hurts. Mm, and my head starts to hurt. And I didn't get enough sleep. But today I gotta go to this briefing for this housing voucher for the mainstream housing voucher fun fuck and then I have to go to Jen at Burke job search what the fuck I don't know what to have fuck to do about that and I don't feel like going today and I didn't feel like going last week it's just bad timing lately and she's not really helpful at all like what the fuck we need to do my fucking resume I just can't stand these people that just don't help me at all. They just want to be so, oh, well, what do you want to do? And maybe you should do this. And maybe you should do that. It just gets, mm. So here I am laying in bed. I woke up an hour or so ago, texted Stephen with no progress. He's grouchy ass. He wronged me, but yet I... 
whatever. He's twisting everything on me. That's the fucking narcissist, and he claims to be a narcissist. And I could give a fuck about narcissism. I just want to be the fuck happy. And he keeps me from doing that because I'll be like in it, and then he gets all critical of me and judgmental of me, and all grouch like stop. I don't want somebody criticizing me and. Well, you need to read your... Just shut up. Read your text messages and... Did it, no, I'm not doing that shit. Leave me alone then. Fuck you. So, I guess I can't fuck with him. He's just in and out of my life. He comes... And then so is Bonnie... I guess she's out of my life for good. She was my friend. I love how people say mental illness and shake their finger and I, I'm beautiful. I'm wonderful. I'm amazing. If you don't like me, then stay out of my life. Don't talk to me. Block me. Don't don't respond to my text messages so I don't know I just I'm hungry I'm tired and I don't know why I did this video because it's part of my vlog I don't like my twin flame sometimes he turns on me and then he blames he says that it's me I'm attacking him and stupid shit that I don't take it seriously. I don't do it. He is so focused on me. Oh. Uh, so whatever. He can just change plans with me. And he can just not answer my call. And he can just be mean to me. And that's okay. Whatever he does. He's just loved and wonderful. And me... I gotta over. I gotta reread my text message, and I got to, you know, take things seriously. And I got just fuck off, man. Just fuck the fuck the fuck off. So I don't care that I don't have no friends. I have Sharice. That's all I need. I have whatever I need. My higher power supplies my need. My he, my higher power takes care of me. So my higher power is going to have to take care of this day and this lower back and any hydrating concerns and I'm crampy, any crampy concerns because I approve of myself. Mm, yeah, I do. I approve of myself. <laughs> my opinion's the only one that matters. <laughs> you ain't getting me to turn on myself. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. You ain't getting me insecure. So I told my twin flame that I might deny him access sometimes to me. I won't be available to him all the time. And and I might hang up on him if his energy ain't right. And I want to keep that. I want to focus on that. If his energy ain't right, I got to treat him like I would a, dry, a rider. Which, how you do that? I need the. I want the ride. So am I supposed to just cancel the ride or just endure? <sighs> anyway, yeah, I guess it's just shut the hell up and endure it. <laughs> what do you do with people when they're irky? Oh, it's just simple. You just. Turn them off. Cut them to the curb. Okay, well, that ain't reality. If I, do, if I did that, you know. Like, that woman. This night, that rider of mine. She was a monster. She was a beast. She was a horrible person. And I had to deal with her. I had to just say, you're right. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. And shut up and drive. And let her, you know, be
because that's my job dealing with fucking lunatics I guess sometimes and then sometimes the people closest to you and the ones you love they can be a goddamn fucking train wreck lunatic too and what are you supposed to fucking do because they don't want to see themselves they don't want to take a look and they want to take it out on you but I don't know I just hope that he comes back to his fun, happy, wonderful self that's in there. I know it's in there somewhere. And Bonnie, too. I hope she comes back, but I don't know if she will. It doesn't seem like she's ever coming back into my life. But I love her. And I miss her. And Steven, I don't know. He fucking gets on my nerves. But I just want to be happy. So I got two appointments today, and I don't really want either one of them. But I got to do what I got to do. So I just pray for strength and that I can nap between them and get the proper sleep and then, you know, work tonight. I hate things, but there's types, times of life that's painful and that you don't like and that it feels oppressive and it feels yucky and there's nothing you can do about it except just try to shield yourself as best you can, but it keeps pounding on breaking through the glass and you just keep building new glass, but it keeps trying to break through, but I think every time you replace the glass, it gets stronger. You replace it with better glass. So, those negative, oppressive, I know. I had a breakthrough last night with Steven. I know I did. Um, I, spiritually, I decided to trust him. And it's because I had a spiritual experience last night with my twin flame. Of course not on the phone and not in person it was totally spiritual but I believe in uh, him and me and I believe he's trustworthy but I don't know what but it's also I never got relief when he lied to me years ago and he was having sex with other people and he lied to me about it and I don't even know if that's really resolved. And I don't even know how to resolve that. So I should just leave him the hell alone. And how am I supposed to trust him when he's lied to me and he continues to do weird, sketchy shit? So, it's my decision to... But... He don't... He's not even safe to talk about it. He gets all crazy so I let it go and put it in my higher powers hands and not deal with it until I'm supposed to or whatever you know I'm not carrying heavy stuff I give those heavy stuff that complicated stuff that hard stuff to my higher power I'm not alone in life so try to give the appointments I have today to my higher power too and try to give, you know, stay positive that I'm going to have a good day, that I'm going to have good work tonight, that I'm going to get the sleep that I need or have the energy that I need just because, you know, I've gone a lot without sleep in the past. So, but I'll sleep between appointments, I guess. Anyway, I am beautiful. I am gorgeous. I am amazing. I am brilliant. I am valuable. I am boss. I am epic. I am dignified. I am royalty. I am a money magnet. I am brilliant. I will f have multiple sources of income. Life goes well for me. I am fire. I am successful. I am the bomb. I am lovely, beautiful, and loved. 
and I don't have to think too much about things. I just let go, stay focused on loving myself and being good to myself. Ah. I don't know. This whole time, I think this is going in my vlog. I don't think this is going on my twin flames because, I don't know, this is too... You can't even see me. Can you see me? No. It's a dark shadow talking. And I had another spiritual experience with my twin flame that was sexual last night. And we don't usually have 5D sex, but we did last night. And I you know, because of my sexual abuse, sex is part of healing for me. And I experienced some healing for my body last night. I didn't know that I couldn't have the amount of orgasms that I had. So I learned something about my body. And like I said, I don't understand how do you trust somebody that lies to you? Because he's not trying to hurt me. It's a wound or something. It's not towards me and he can't even see it. It's a weird shit and I can't even explain it, but I understand it. You gotta let some things go. We are really wound up people. We are really fucked up people. We are really traumatized and wounded people. So, you just, I trust that my higher powers got it and uh, even in the darkest times when it seems hopeless that there is hope that it is working out that it is going to be okay it is going to work out it is phenomenal me and my twin flame have an amazing future I know we do I can feel it in my soul and I know that he can feel it in my soul I actually I just remembered that I knew we were going to text this morning. And I guess I texted him first. But I kind of forgot about that when I woke up. But I went to bed last night knowing we were going to talk first thing this morning. But I, not that I knew it, but I felt like something told me that. Like spirit told me that. That there's been a change in me that spirit deposited and that Stephen would know it right away and that we would talk in the morning. So I know he loves me despite how he acts towards me. I know that I'm the best thing that's ever happened to him. And I know that we are totally connected and totally perfect for each other, even though it doesn't seem like that. And I know that he totally loves me even though it doesn't seem like that. Because spirit showed me that. And I trust that and I believe that. And now he can feel that there's been a shift in me and I'm irresistible to him and I'm adorable to him. And he, I know it, um, whether he, you know what I mean? So it's a shift. So this is going in my vlog. It kind of should go in my twin flame, um, channel, but it's too much for me to, I'll talk about that when I look better and I can talk and express things better. Um, but there's been a major breakthrough and I'm grateful for it. And, um, I won't stress and work so hard. The same thing with the, with the, with the employment, um, consultant appointment tonight. I'll just kind of, I don't know what else to do besides lift and I don't have, I'm 54 years old. I have no retirement whatsoever. So somehow I'm going to have to have a lot of money <laughs> and a lot of opportunity. <laughs> so I'm not overthinking it and I'm not going to get negative. I trust and believe that, you know, I will have other sources of income. So, you know, Believing in some yourself is first. So the spiritual is first and then the physical comes. So there's my faith is increased. My faith is, is getting more. So 
I believe in myself and I don't have to overthink that. I believe in my twin flame and I believe in my financial future. So, yay. And, um, yeah, it's not always rainbows and sunshine. I get itch. My body gets really itchy. I'm really sensitive. My skin is really sensitive. And I get kind of ir irky and grouchy at times. I mean, I'm a whole, you know, variety. And I'm going to love the darkness and the light. I'm going to love the good and the bad. And I'm going to take it all with a grain of salt and take it easy and take it light. So, mwah, I love you. I approve of you. I bless you. And um, I'm talking to myself there. You have to do all that for yourself. So, mwah.